Hey, hey, what's up out there? All right, guys. Uh, before I get started, if you happen to hear some background noises, it may be uh, some fireworks going off. There are people shooting out, shooting fireworks, and sometimes it can be pretty loud. <laughs> so, uh, and happy, happy Fourth of July weekend uh, to those of you out there in the United States that celebrate Independence Day. All right, so. Um, we have in this video and first of all i am no financial expert this is not financial advice if you choose to invest in the stock or crypto market do so after doing your own research and only invest what you can afford all right so what you're looking at right now is cash app the very popular peer-to-peer -peer money transferring app uh, that is based in the united states and what some people don't realize is that not only can you transfer money and do direct deposits and uh, share, you know, basically sharing, uh, you know, paying, you know, paying for business transactions and things like that. You can also uh, invest in the stock market. And, and when I say stock market, I mean the publicly traded stocks on the New York Stock Exchange. So if you see that that bottom row those tabs at the bottom you click on that arrow the squiggly looking arrow that's your stock tab and this is within cash app again all right so this is my portfolio that uh, i have right now and i have currently 783 dollars in my portfolio um and i have a total invested amount of 945 dollars i'm down and don't let this scare you. I'm down one hundred sixty one dollars that that amount fluctuates daily. I haven't lost that amount. That's just what I'm down by right now. But I haven't sold um, those stocks. So they you know, stocks can go up and down on a, a daily basis. And I'm going to basically show you um, the features of of this app. And so I'm not going to talk a whole lot about my strategies on how I invest uh, or how much you know I've made or anything like that. I have other videos that that talk about that. All right, so if you go down here to the bottom real quick, if you're brand new to investing and and you know first of all don't be intimidated by the stock market. It's something that you can take in in small bites. Um, and now with the with thankful we're you know thanks to technology you can now invest. Um, without having to hire a broker, like a human broker to, to place your trades for you. You can do it on your own um, for a very, very minimal, minimal fee. Uh, when I say minimal, you will laugh at how much it actually costs to place a trade. <laughs> so, uh, and I'll show you that. I'll share that with you in a minute. Uh, so, um, this here is my list of stocks I own right now. You, you will recognize probably Wayfair, Bed Bath & Beyond, and NVIDIA. Uh, some of these others are not like major, like well-known companies, but um, I have purchased some, some fractional shares. And you don't have to buy a whole share of a stock through Cash App. You can buy a fractional share, which means you can invest as little as $2.00 in a company if you want to uh, or as much as you want in a company it 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 doesn't matter every stock um, offers fr fractional shares in cash app I love that feature and that is actually rather new it's something that hit, that was introduced I think just within the past uh, couple of years um, you know through uh, online brokerages so that's something you can definitely take advantage of all right so if you go down a little farther, you have these are all the stocks I'm following. A lot, a lot of you know names, big name companies, and some smaller companies. And you can definitely invest and build wealth. You can you potentially can build wealth through the stock market in time. <clears throat> um, and there are many, and there are different styles and strategies of trading you can use uh you know some people day trade and they make a lot of money day trading some people lose money day trading it depends on on your strategy and how disciplined you are 
uh, and the and the types of stocks you choose to trade day in and day out. So, uh, you know, we have DoorDash, Beyond Meat, you know, Block. Now, Cash App actually is owned by Block. The that's the parent company. It used to be a uh, Square, and I think they changed their name. You have Dave and Buster's, Roku, uh, Tesla. So there you go. Many different types of companies. And um, if you when, when you come down here and see these tabs, if you're brand new to investing, like I said, it Cash App does a really ju- good job of laying out uh, this this, you know, format. It was very well thought out, very user friendly. I can't say that enough. Um, I mean, an elementary school kid could understand how to invest by using this app. Click on newly added there. These are the recent stocks that were added into Cash App. Um, there's been quite a, they add quite a few of them every month. So it, it's, the list is steadily growing. And there's a lot, a whole lot in there already. So let's go over here. Let's look at um, media entertainment. Okay, you have a lot of tech companies that you can trade, Apple, Microsoft, Facebook, Google, Netflix, uh, Comcast. So you can see, I won't read all those off, but you can see that long list of media, tech and media companies. And let's go over shopping. That's a big one. Same thing. Some of your tech companies will, will be in there too. Cost, and also your stores, your major stores. Home Depot, Costco, Walmart, Target, Lowe's, Nike, um, eBay, which is, I mean, I'm sorry, Etsy, Dollar Tree, and the list goes on. All right, so let's pull up one more here. Let's uh, let's do tourism. You know, we're mid-summer right now. A lot of people traveling. Uh, you have Airbnb. Disney, American Airlines, you have Las Vegas Sands, I think is a, a big hotel resort in Vegas, Southwest Airlines, uh, you have Wyndham Hotels and Resorts, there's one of those a few miles from where I live actually, uh, so you can, if you if you use Cash App, just go down and click on that that stock tab right, right there at the bottom right hand corner, uh, well, Bitcoin is on the bottom right, but the one next to it is uh, your stock tab, and and just play or you know, just kind of navigate your way around in it. You don't even have to invest; just just familiarize yourself and and get comfortable with the layout, like which is very easy and simple. And something else you may not know: you can invest in Bitcoin through Cash App. Yes, that that is the only crypto currency they offer right now but it's the father of all crypto as bitcoin goes so does the rest of of cryptocurrency so uh, for the most part all right so right now as everybody knows that looks at the markets bitcoin is way down right now which means it's on sale uh most people didn't think it would drop this low ever again it's at nineteen thousand dollars one hundred seven nineteen thousand one hundred seventy four dollars Per Bitcoin, it was up as high as sixty-five thousand um, dollars, like nine months ago, eight nine months ago. So it's way seriously. And I, actually, I'll show you proof of that. You can see right here. If I drag the cursor, then you can you can follow a stock and see how it has performed over the past one day, one week, one month, one year, and even their entire history. So you can see right here, it was up around sixty-four, sixty-five thousand uh, dollars. I think last November. All right, so you can also do that with stocks. I didn't show that to you, did I? Shame on me. Let's look at that. Okay, let's say uh, Bed Bath and Beyond. Okay, let's look at. Say you want to look at the last thirty days performance of Bed Bath and Beyond. It's we're in a bear market, so it's kind of steadily going down, but it's still volatile, meaning. It, it's going down and then it goes up and then it goes down and goes up. So when it's volatile like that, you can invest at certain time. If you know what you're doing, you can invest when a stock dips. And then when it goes back up, whatever you have invested will gain a whatever percentage that it goes up by 
that that amount of money gets added to your your total invested 